My heart bleeded. The heart of France, the heart of the world, burned. Eric wasn't alone in his shock and grief seeing Notre Dame Cathedral, the center of Paris, burn. But he did have a unique perspective as he watched some of France's wealthiest families and corporations pledge about 1 billion euros to rebuild the cathedral. When I hear people giving 200 million do uh, euros for that, and they can't even give 10,000 for homeless people, I say that's awful. How can they do that? It's just for their personal celebrity. He wasn't alone. À la fois vouloir. We can't take care of Notre Dame's frame without thinking of homeless people who die in front of its door. Yves Collant is an executive at La Fondation Abbé Pierre. The foundation is carrying on the legacy of beloved French priest Abbé Pierre, combating poverty on an annual budget of 45 million euros. The Notre Dame Cathedral has a special connection to Pierre. It's where his funeral was held. Homeless people were sitting in the front row. On Tuesday, Cologne tweeted from the foundation's account, and it's gotten a lot of attention here in Paris. The tweet thanks the corporations for their pledges to help rebuild Notre Dame. But it also calls on them to donate just 1% of those pledges to the underprivileged. When we present a project to big companies and we ask for 10,000 euros, 20,000 euros, 50,000 euros to change the lives of people in great exclusion, or often to save their lives, and we hear that it costs too much, it's hard to hear after that that a company can raise hundreds of millions to save a roof. More than 67 million people live here in France. 150,000 of them are homeless. Total of 4 million are housing insecure, according to La Fondation Abbé Pierre. For perspective, France has a higher homeless rate than the U.S. When you are homeless in Paris, it is very hard to live because life is expensive. I was homeless for three years. I was depending on food distributions to eat, on vouchers. Mikhail Martin now has a roof over his head after a person heard him on the radio and offered him a spare room. Eric has been homeless for eight years. He lives in a shelter during the week and stays at an office where he works on the weekends. They're, they have social workers. They're supposed to work with you. After four months, they just quit to go to another uh, work, a working place. Then you have to wait four months to get another one. And then you have to start your story again and rebuild everything. Moreover, the atmosphere in these shelters is often awful. People can steal us, attack us, kill us. So we never know if we, tomorrow we'll still be living. We don't know that. Both Eric and Mikhail credit the French people's solidarity, their willingness to give a hand for their survival on the streets. They say they've received the most help from the people who live in the neighborhoods where they stay. A lot of people don't even have money to buy a piece of meat or give food to their kids. That is why seeing all this money going to the rebuilding of a church, just for a church, is a little bit disappointing for us. Another reason for their skepticism? tax breaks. Under current law, individual donors would see a 66 percent break, while corporations would get 60 percent. And France's former culture minister suggested donations for Notre Dame be eligible for a 90 percent break, but he later walked that back. These tax breaks mean the French government will lose out on hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenue, though the Pinot family, which has pledged 100 million euros, says it won't seek one.